Greg the Egg playing football. There he goes, look. And he's got a touchdown. Hello folks, this is Steve the Zulu here. Um, we're having very, very unseasonally hot weather here in the UK, which is absolutely brilliant. Normally this time of year we get very unseasonally cold weather. And... Uh, it's just been really, really hot here. Temperatures are hitting 31, and it looks like it's stopping with us for a few weeks yet. Although we might get some thunderstorms on uh, sun Saturday and Sunday. Um, I've been busy learning the rules of American football. Thank you very much, Greg. And um, I've been watching YouTube vids to try and pick up the game. And uh, that's why I posted that little thing at the beginning. And um, I also got four CDs to show you, which I didn't show you from the last haul. I thought I'd save them, because what I was frightened of was the video was getting a bit too long. I do try to keep them for around about a seven to eight minutes mark, as it does uh, make it easier to watch. Also, the upload times are a lot quicker as well. And uh, if you use a soft piece of software that I do, um, it, it, it sort of compresses the files and they go up very quick. So I like to get them now done and dusted within sort of like 9 or 10 minutes. But um, I just want to show you a great compilation I bought. Um, this one I bought was because I don't, wouldn't normally touch this. The actual good tracks outweighed the bad tracks. And that's this one, the best heavy metal album in the world ever. And uh, I bought this one, it's a 2 CD box. We have um, bands like Queen and the usual, what I call, uh, compilation album fodder. Um, sort of like your Sammy Hagar and your Van Halen. But this one does have some ser se <coughs> excuse me, seriously good tracks on it, which is unusual. Um, I noticed it had Iron Maiden and Run to the Hills and Number of Beast, Black Sabbath's Paranoid, um, Deep Purple Burn, um, Band called Mountain, Mississippi Queen, um, Uriah Heap, Easy Living. I believe Wasp did a cover version of that. I may be wrong. Uh, a band called Montrose, Rock the Nation, which is good. Ted Nugent, more of him later. Uh, ZZ Top, uh, Riot, Born to Be Wild. It's just a great, great comp. And uh, you get sort of Run DMC featuring Aerosmith. That's a good track as well. And the Yuengi Malmsteen's Vengeance and Megadeth, The Holy Wars, Punishment Do. A, a local band to me, Wolfsbane Steel. They're on tour at the moment in the UK. I'm trying to get all the tickets. But um, apart from about three or four really bad ones, you're getting all those really good ones. So I picked that up. I ain't going to pull out the uh, booklet because it's nothing much on it. It just sort of tells you what's on it and their record companies. There's no collage or pictures or anything. It's just a pretty bog standard CD. But this is a great CD. Like, you get a bit of everything on it. Uh, the next one I got really confused me. And I'm more, I, I'm a big fan of this band, but I must admit I bought this CD more out of... I would have bought it anyway, but I was very, very curious about it. And that's this one by Dream Theatre. Uh, the reason why I was curious on it, because a change of seasons I've never heard, but uh, a funeral for a friend, um, I said that's not a Dream Theatre track, that was somebody else's song. Then I saw a Perfect Strangers, and that was a Deep Purple song. Then you've got the Rover, which is a Led Zeppelin number, and it's obviously a CD with cover versions on it, and uh, it really, really had me stumped. And just for interest, Funeral for a Friend was originally recorded by Elton John and Bernie Talpin around about a 73 mark, maybe a bit earlier, I might be wrong. But I was I, I was wondering, because as you, if you've seen previous videos, I don't do cover versions, I, can't, I haven't got any time for them. But this is not bad. I have listened to it, and uh, you get a, a great uh, version of Perfect Strangers, not as good as the original, but uh, it is a good CD. And uh, it has a great booklet as well. And uh, you sort of get a little child 
um, you know, half uh, sort of um, like uh, like he is playing in the snow. Then you get this guy all wrapped up to the nines, and obviously it's very hot there. But uh, yeah, you get some not booklet action, as Greg would said, and um, you get the uh, all the members of the band, and you get all the track listing. But you're getting songs from like uh, "In the Flesh" by Pink Floyd. Carry On Way was sung, which was uh, Kansas, Kerry Livgren, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody Queen, um, Loving, Touching, Squeezing, originally by Journey, and uh, yeah, it looks like they've just got a spree of cover versions, so you're getting a lot of Z numbers as well, The Rover, Achilles Last Stand, the song remains the same, um, I think there's one original track on here, and uh, that's basically what you get, the rest of it's just cover versions. But it's very, very good, and it's very, very listenable as well. So I just love the cover I do. Uh, reminds me of Greg the Egg. That's what he used to do when he was a boy. And <laughs> I bet you did, Greg. Come on, tell the truth. But yeah, it's just a great cover. Um, the last two, um, Scott Waters would love these. Uh, I must admit, I've got one Ted Nugent album in the whole collection. And I've had it for years, um, but I'm not really familiar with this. I've heard some of this stuff, like Wango Tango, but I'm not familiar with this guy. And this, I'm sort of reintroducing myself to the guy, and that's Ted Nugent. And I picked this one up, Sweden Rocks, and uh, it's got Wango Tango, actually, it's a second track. That's about the only one I know. Um, I'm not sort of mega familiar with this stuff, and uh, that's the, that's the uh, back side of the CD. And you've got all those tracks there, but uh, yeah, it's Sweden Rocks, quite a, a common one this is, and um, it's just uh, on the army or something, you get a nice picture of him as well, but the second one is this one, and uh, you got, this is live at the Whiplash, ba no, Whiplash Bash, uh, recorded 12-31-2000, um, but you get a lot of different uh, songs here. Um, it says 100% totally live, no overdubs. Again, this was on the Army Records. I'll just pull out the the cover for these. I'll pull out the cover for the last one, actually. I just realised I haven't done it. But you get nice little uh, posters. You get a, a nice little picture there. And you get all the words. And you get like a little collage of pictures there. And it, it looks, it's brilliant stuff. I'm really enjoying this guy. What I love about, this is my personal gripe, is the actual writing on here I can read. Um, I absolutely hate these when they do white writing and it's not designed to be read. And uh, they do it on a, I've seen it even on, on like white writing, they put it on a white background. And you can tell whoever's put it together, it's done so small. And they're not very sort of reader friendly, especially when you're like me, getting into your advanced years. And your eyes are starting to go, and I find it very, very hard. It gives me headaches. But this one's brilliant, because you can actually read every word of it, and uh, it's really well thought of. But, and uh, it's got his autograph as well. But, uh, yeah, I just wish other bands uh, follow suit. Most of them are okay. You just get a few that you just cannot read them. It's, they're just not, they've got all this dialogue, and obviously they want to know about the band. But it's just not designed to be read. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's, I mean, I've had friends who have got really good vision, and even they can't read it. And uh, when you, you do all these sleeve notes, they're sort of designed to be read, uh, make them bigger. And this is brilliant. This is, look, even I can see that on the computer. And this is another one. This is Sweden Rocks um, in a cert. I just thought I'd show you it. But, yeah. And uh, you've got Ted Dugent, Barry Sparks, Mick Brown. And it's recorded live at the Sweden Rock Festival. That's where Greg went, I'm sure of it. But uh, anyway, folks, this is my little offering today. Um, I'm going out tomorrow again, record hunting, but I don't think I should be buying much <laughs> after what happened. If you saw me previous videos when I've got the tankard, I'm sort of a bit spent out at the moment. But uh, I wish you all goodbye, and I hope you all have a nice day and all watching the World Cup. England play Thursday, I can't wait. And uh, this is just like the rehearsal. The um, actual competition starts when they go into knockout rounds. Because obviously if you lose a match then you're going home. 
so that's when the, match, the matches get a lot better and a lot more competitive I think a lot of teams at the moment are just riding it out, trying to conserve energy and not get any injuries. That's why you're seeing sort of, ma I mean, the matches on the whole have been a high quality. But uh, I think a lot of the teams are being very cautious, uh, like Argentina, because obviously you don't want to get a major injury um, before you get into the knockout stages. So I'll go back to learning the American football now. Thanks, Greg, for getting me into that. And um, bless you all, and I wish you all a good day. And uh, I better go and get some suntan lotion. See ya.